In this video, we're going to finish the graphing lines worksheet under Infinite Algebra 1 on the CUDA software website, and I'll leave a link to get to this worksheet in the description below. So, picking up with number 7, we have y equals 5 thirds x. We know that our slope, m, is 5 thirds, and we know that our b, or our y-intercept, is 0. So when x is 0, y is also 0, since that's our y-intercept. Then, using slope, which is rise over run, we're going to go up 5, and we're going to go to the right, 3, to reach our next point on the line. And that occurs at 3, 5. Double checking, we can enter in 3 for x and see if we get 5 for y. So if we enter in 3 for x, that would be 5 thirds times 3, which indeed equals 5 for y. So all we have to do, now that we double check that, is connect the two points with the line. Since the minimum amount of points you need to create a line is 2. So when you connect those points, I recommend using a straight edge like a ruler so that you have a crisp, clean, straight line. Moving on to number 8, we have that x equals 0. x equals 0, that's going to be a vertical line along the y-axis and our slope is undefined. In number 9, our slope is negative 1 third, and our y-intercept is a positive 3. So when x is 0, our y value is 3, since that's our y-intercept. And using rise over run, rise is negative, and run will be positive. So we'll go down 1 and over 3 to the right. So down 1 and over 3. Will leave us at the point 3, 2. Go ahead and double check that coordinate on your own, and when you do, simply connect the points with a line. In number 10, y equals 1 fifth x minus 4. So our slope, m, is 1 fifth, and our y intercept, b, is a negative 4, since subtracting. A positive is the same as adding a negative. And y equals mx plus b, so that b is a negative 4 in this case. So at 0, y is negative 4. And then using rise over run, we're going to go up 1 and over 5. To get to 5, negative 3. Then all we have left to do is to connect those dots. On to number 11, our slope is 1 half, and our y-intercept is a negative 2. So when x is 0, y is negative 2, since that's our y-intercept, and then using the slope, rise over run, we're going to go up 1 and over 2 to the right. That'll leave us with 2, negative 1. Then go ahead, draw a straight line, and connect those points. And lastly, number 12. y equals 2x plus 5. So our slope m is a positive 2, which we can write as 2 over 1. And our b, or our y-intercept, is a positive 5. So when x is 0, y is a positive 5. And then going up to an over 1 will put us off the graph. So we'll just rewrite this 2 over 1 as a negative 2 over a negative 1. So we're going to go down 2 and over 1 to the left. And a negative over negative is still a positive. So down 2 and then over 1 to the left to get us to negative 1, 3. So if we were to start at this leftmost point and went up 2, so positive 2 and over 1 to the right, so that's positive 2 over positive 1, we would get back to our y-intercept. 
Once we have those two points plotted, go ahead and connect them with a line. And that wraps up our graphing lines worksheet. Remember to like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to my channel so that you get updated when I come out with new videos, and go ahead and comment below if you have a specific question or if you have a request for a worksheet that you'd like me to do sooner rather than later.